Ever wondered about the journey of the Matildas to Olympic qualification? It's been a roller coaster of emotions, filled with highs and lows, but today we're going to dive into one of their pivotal matches. As the stadium filled with thousands of green and gold clad supporters, the Matildas, with a somewhat unfamiliar starting 11, prepared for their first step on the path to Olympic qualification. Claire Wheeler and Tegan Micah, both World Cup squad members who hadn't seen any game time took to the field along with the new face midfielder Amy Sayer. 18 minutes into the scramble, wingback Ellie Carpenter broke through the tension, scoring the first goal. Later in the second half, substitute Sam Kerr added to the scoreline. There was a sense of rustiness in the Matildas performance, a point highlighted by their coach, Tony Gustafsson. The first half of the game was dominated by the midfield pairing of Wheeler and Emily Van Egmond. Despite their darting runs and inch-perfect through passes, they struggled to break through the solid Iranian defense. As the half progressed, Carpenter began to drive forward, leading to the first goal, a well-placed shot low and left of the keeper. The second half saw some changes, with Alana Kennedy replacing Claire Polkinghorne at center back. By the 65th minute, a triple switch brought Sam Kerr, Mary Fowler, and Steph Catley onto the field. The effect was immediate, although it took some time to reflect on the scoreline. In the 79th minute, the persistence paid off. A well-coordinated play involving Catley and Fowler led to a successful shot, cementing the Matildas' lead. In summary, this match was a critical step in the Matildas' journey to Olympic qualification. Despite an initial struggle, the team's adaptability and persistence paid off, securing a crucial victory. The game highlighted the importance of strategic player substitutions and the vital role of teamwork in overcoming a formidable defense. Here's to the relentless spirit of the Matildas and their unwavering journey towards the Olympics.